what is up guys this is Tito back with another video and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you a mouse this is the red gear a15 and I bought it on the Amazon Prime Day sale and it launched on that day so that is one like thing to mention over here so in the past I have been using a Logitech B100 and I kept a couple of those like two to three mouses at the same time in like stock over here in my house whenever one used to like get broken or stopped working i just switched to another b100 i would say that that logitech b100 served me pretty well but it used to cost about 300 rupees or 275 rupees that is why it is a very cheap mouse and it used to work very well like the clicks used to work almost one and a half years then it gets broken or something so yeah the left click especially gets broken and i thought let's try a different mouse this time and thanks to one of my friends koshi for ordering this for me he has a prime account that is why i got it for 400 rupees this mouse usually like will be going for 560 rupees or something but on prime day it was launched and on the prime day sale it was selling for 400 rupees now this video is fairly my impressions about the mouse not a particular review or something in long term i don't know how it will hold up the clicks and stuff how when it will get broken but yeah i will definitely try to do a video in future whenever i see the mouse is working weirdly or it is like stopping to work or something so that i will mention in the future videos but in this impression video let me just show you the features over here so this is how the packaging looks like well it's full of shit. and as you can see it's opened from the back and when i received and opened the like amazon's pouch it, it was like pretty much opened from everywhere so i'll give a zero out of ten out of this packaging and as you can see you can just like it is there in the pouch itself and here is the mouse i'll put the box aside for the time being and let's just focus on the mouse itself and here is the cable and it's not braided at all as you can see this is pretty much in the box it says pvc cable as you can see and here we have 1.8 meters of the length of the cable so yeah that's how it is and this is not a braided cable at all there is some kind of thick part over here pretty much on the cable itself and this is a USB-A pretty much and this is how the mouse itself looks like in the hand without the lights of course I haven't connected it yet and as you can see this is how it looks from the sides we get two buttons over here the buttons seems clicky and there is the joint if you want to look at the joint over here and to the back this seems like a metallic part over here so that is pretty cool has some chrome effect and here it says red gear A15 and of course made in china still the build quality in my opinion is pretty good it is plastic of course and this top part has a little bit of rubbery feeling on the click side here and there and the scrolling wheel this is how it looks and it scrolls fine so this is how it looks like when it's plugged in and you can see it has this kind of rgb glory here of course and it keeps switching between colors if you are noticing and this is how it looks from the sides when mouse is connected and from the back this is how it looks well it has this kind of honeycomb effect and we have the red gear logo over here to the right this is how it looks and the lighting is okay it's not like too great or something but yeah it is like better than the competition when you compare it to any other rgb mouse under 500 rupees so this is how it looks side by side when compared to this B100 and it is a fairly popular mouse it used to be costing around like 275 rupees and this one is about 400 rupees that I got so yeah the size is like pretty much this fits like better in my hands to be honest but this one is a little bit bigger in the hand as you can see this is how it looks when I hold it and this is how it looks when I am using it so yeah and definitely this mouse is lighter and this mouse is heavier so let's quickly try this mouse out and here i have a same red gears like mouse pad well this is not a sponsored video of red gear or something but i'm just like showing you guys that you can use this mouse pad and this mouse if you want to i just like bought this mouse i have been using this like mouse pad for quite a long i washed it a couple of times so yeah this is a pretty good mouse pad you can use it if you want to and this is the smooth version i guess there is also a rough kind of version so as you can see here there are the things that red gears pretty much sells and these all products need some drivers 
and here we if you scroll down so from here as you can see it shows red gear a15 wired gaming mouse you can download the drivers for it from here i have already did that you can download it from here so that's what i just wanted to show you guys right now let me show you the drivers this is how the software actually looks like and you can actually change a lot of things here for the mouse and if you are noticing these are the buttons which are mentioned actually total there are seven buttons that you can customize including the clicks and stuff so i'm not gonna actually change those but here as you can see i have changed these two buttons over here which are these two ones and i have changed one to control s for saving stuff and that q is for a like premiere pro shortcut so that i have changed that over here now the mode a i have been like setting it up for like editing stuff and for mode b this is like actually for gaming and r of course for reloading and this oem plus says about this like plus equals to keyboard on the keyboard key so that is like auto run on pubg pc and stuff so yeah that's what i use for this particular button and in gaming and stuff while i'm playing like pubg pc it will help me a lot so yeah you can customize it let me show you how much options are there and you can like change it to this left key right key middle key back and forward and then we have some options for special function key that is dpi key then fire key aim key then led switch and there is also another led switch option and keyboard switch key for some reason and key off is there then we have some media functions like play pause stop previous track next track volume plus and minus mute and then we have some like browser kind of things like home search back forward stop refresh favorites etc then we have some pc functionalities so you can set it to like my computer so that whenever you press this button and it will fire up my computer and you can also have calculator and desktop from here then you have user defined option so here you can like set up an action like let's assume you are gonna save something like shift s or something so you can just press here like you can enable the shift option then press s on the keyboard and as you can see it will function as shift plus s if you confirm this let me just clear it up and there is also this base macro function and you can actually set up a macro from here and you can like do whatever you want with that macro so that is a legit function and once you like do this once you see these functions enabled if you want to switch to this option you just click on apply and it will take a little bit of time and as you can see it will be applied in a moment and now as you can see it has been applied now if you switch to this light option so let me actually show you right now it's in rainbow mode so if you're looking close at the mouse the whole mouse has same kind of light like if it's like this kind of pink or red here even here it, you will see the same color as you are noticing but if, if you want to switch to this like colorful light over here this is the default option let me just apply this you will see the change over here right away and as you can see right now it's bluish over here this is where it's pink or something so this top part and the bottom part has different colors right now if you are noticing closely let me show you this flow light option right now so this is kind of light flow so mixes up the colors whenever red appears over here red appears on the top area a little bit later so that's how it is and as you can see the color shifts from like bottom to top i guess so yeah that looks pretty fine in my opinion if you're noticing now let me show you this vault settings as you can see this is how the lighting looks on the vaults mode Now let me show you this 4 seconds option. Then we have this off mode where the LED just simply turns off. And on this like light speed settings if you are noticing this scrolling bar over here it is there even in advanced settings if you wanna try to like move it around move these kind of bars around it won't move like that. Let me show you in this light. If I try to move or scroll this like with holding this thing, it does not simply move, but you can actually move it by doing this. Let me show you. If you just click on these numbers area, you have to just click on each of them as you are noticing. 
right now if i put it on slow you, you will see the rgb speed actually changes let me show you right now as you can see it stays on each color for a really long time now let me just switch to fast so that you guys can see the difference quicker so right now as you can see it's changing the colors really really fast so you can actually change this scrolling bar thing but yeah you have to click on these numbers and if you're noticing the default dpi settings from here it goes from 800 all the way up to 6400 but if you're noticing if i try to scroll one of these it just doesn't work but if you actually like click over here the dpi the like lowest dpi goes as low as 500 let me just apply the settings on this 500 dpi and let me show you so i have just changed the dpi and as you can see it blinks whenever it changes the dpi and it blinks on that particular color if you are noticing and right now as you can see with 500 dpi it's like really hard to move the mouse from one to other point but yeah if you're someone who uses really low dpi settings you can go as low as 500 on this even though the box is 1000 maybe it's about the sensor or something but yeah on the software itself you can go as low as 500 but make sure you like click over like on these things as you can see make sure you click here then apply it from here then only you will get this like lowest dpi settings right now let me just move back to like 1600 dpi and you will see it will blink on the pink color right here and as you can see it blinks the pink color that means we are on the 1600 dpi and each color means a dpi settings cyan that means it's 4800 now yellow that means it's on 6400 the highest dpi settings so you can change these colors holy smokes i thought you cannot but yeah let me just lower the dpi down and as you can see you can actually change these colors from here to whatever you want for each dpi settings so that's pretty great okay so let's play some valorant with the new mouse Okay, right now it's reloading with the button which I set. Okay. Now it is built out of plastic and still it has good like good build quality feeling in the hand. It does feel like it costs about 1000 rupees but nowhere it feels like it costs about 500 rupees. That is a really great deal. It definitely feels like more than 1000 rupees pretty much. I'm just like assuming a little bit lower. So I would say this mouse is a really great value. I don't know how long it will last but still with the features the RGB quality and like with everything it seems like this mouse is a really amazing deal for about 500 rupees or around that price point now one really huge flaw will be the rgb itself in my opinion because if you're noticing the like palm rest area or whenever you are holding the mouse you will see you are totally covering the rgb that is pretty much like bound to happen but in my opinion this honeycomb design on the rgb looks pretty great but in this like Indian conditions, I don't know how long it will be holding up because these like holes, the honeycomb holes pretty much will be filled up with dust or like your dirt of the hand. So I don't know how long it will look good, like look this good, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna get dirty if you don't handle it well. Now as this mouse like is totally built out of plastic, there is only metal part on the bottom right here but let me show you there is some little bit of creaking noise here and there i don't know if you can actually hear it like this part over here when i press hard on this part 
it does a little bit of clicking noise but on the left side it's fine and there is a little bit of like free play on the clicks like I'm not even clicking it's doing a little bit of free play right there now let me show you the clicks over here the sound of the clicks these two side buttons in my opinion has a little bit of loud sound but these ones like are pretty smooth they do not sound much so thanks for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet and please share this video out with your friends and family if you want them to know about this gaming mouse this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now